Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in today. It's going to be a big day because we have to change this front left door lock of this uh, 2004 Mercedes C230 uh, W203 chassis. The front left door lock is actually not working. So, you know, you could get a spring kit and replace that, but I actually don't know what's wrong with it. We just decided to go ahead and install a brand new genuine Mercedes part on it. So it's going to be the whole thing. It's going to be brand new. And uh, before that, what was happening is it was not working. So you could not lock on or unlock the car and uh yeah best thing is that since we're already here you know just to prevent any future problems I'm just gonna replace it and install a new one all right so here it is guys that's the part number right there whoever needs it yep and this one made in Czech Republic so my brothers and sisters made this thing yep so it's not some Chinese garbage it's actually real stuff for this amazing machine all right so don't pay attention there's some other stuff that I'm doing to this car but today we're gonna focus on this door lock uh, I have the door panel off as you can see so this uh, door film don't lose it it's really important but for those of you who don't know this car actually has the rivets so there are a bunch of rivets. I don't know if I'm going to have to take this SRS uh, airbag off yet. But as you can see, rivets are holding it. Uh, so these bottom two I already drilled out. I'm going to end up replacing them with bolts and nuts. Yeah, it's really sad that Mercedes went to rivets, you know. Just to keep it all simple and amazing, you know, without any issues. Just use bolts, you know, or use nuts, whatever, you know. It's... But yeah, anyway, so the problems with this door lock was just would lock it and it would start going like this and it would not lock same thing with unlocking i mean i don't know unlocking but locking it just it just wouldn't work so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and replace it so that way it's gonna be amazing for another you know 20 30 years i can't say 100 years because you know i say 100 years on you know 70s 80s 90s mercedes but these early 2000s are a little different you know so i don't know how long that thing will last but as long as it's brand new original i'm pretty sure it's gonna last at least another 20 years depending on the usage yep uh everything else here is fine i just have to i fixed this uh the speaker wires that were bad were uh, messed up so it's fixed now for safety reasons we're gonna disconnect the battery it's they made it really nice they put this ground cable right here so that's what we're gonna do Take it and put it aside right here somewhere so it's not touching the ground. That's plastic or rubber, so it's good. Connect to this uh, door module right here, so it's gonna be a little pain to take all this off, but I have to carefully take these brackets off and all that. Right there. Just press this tab, just pull straight out. This harness, I would not worry. I think it's for the airbag. Just these two cables. Just have to put a, like a plastic tool in there to pry it out. All right, guys, so to take this uh, thing off, you just use a pick and you just kind of squeeze these two together or like one at a time, just push down and pull out. Same with the bottom one, push up pull out and come out now you can separate all this I might have to put a little bit more tape on it actually yeah this I have this type of tape so I'm just gonna it's not that this it's not the copper showing it's just the insulation of the wire but I'm just gonna add some tape just in case remove these three bolts first and then, yeah, this thing is basically free. I just don't know how I'm gonna fish this thing out of there. It's gonna fit through this hole or not. It loosened this guy, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Yeah, it's just a pain. I just hate how they use those rivets, that's the only thing. I really don't wanna take this air back out. Next with T20, there's a there's a bolt you have to take out, and then you're gonna take out the cylinder right here, this guy. Now, you have to turn the key. As you turn the key, you can take this cylinder carefully out, like that. All right, I'm gonna just end up destroying this thing, but this, this I 
finally got the rivet saw drilled out. Like so. I can get to the regulator a little better. Alright, so now I can get to this rivet right here for the regulator. I need to take this guy out somehow. If I can slide in new door lock assembly. So here's the brand new, genuine Mercedes door lock assembly. I'm gonna install that, uh, this guy right now. It's a pain because, as you can see right here, it's, uh, they tried to move this, drill out all these rivets and everything, but it's just, it's a pain. So I don't know how I'm gonna slide this guy in there. I don't wanna tear this whole thing apart, you know? So we'll have to see. So I've taken this window regulator kind of apart, disconnected from the window. And uh, hopefully now we can figure out a way to slide this thing in. So it would not go through the speaker. I don't want to disassemble the plastics now to so just try it, but yeah. All right, finally, I was able to kind of start this thing in. Getting all the cables out of here, yeah, it's it's a long process. <laughs> Not that easy on this machine. So I've got this door lock assembly mounted. That now I'm gonna put this door handle back in. I gotta get the gasket here. Let's get this gasket as well. Still pliable, still good. This. All right, so I'm slowly putting stuff back together. I started, I uh, just put some grease here because of a little bit of scratches there. All right, and uh, started using bolts, uh, nuts, and locking washers on this uh, guy. All right, so no more rivets. The only thing is I'm gonna have to use rivets on this right here, those two at least. This one I'll use bolt and nut. These two I'll have to put rivets because I can't really get to the back side, unfortunately. So that's gonna be the thing. All right, so I put one rivet on and now I'm gonna put this second one right here. Both the rivets are in on top, and this nut and bolt are in, uh, airbag connected. Also, I don't know if I told you, but this I had to fix the speaker wire, and uh, yeah, everything is basically almost back together. All right, finally, about three, four days later, I'm ready to install the door panel back on. As you can see, I installed the, these two top, uh, you know, rivets. And I was waiting on this window regular clip because the old one just broke. It's kind of a normal thing, you know, because I had to take it out to install or remove the uh, lock actuator. So yeah, that's why I had to order a new one because the old one just kind of broke. I mean, it's unfortunate. But yeah, now I can go ahead and install everything there and lubricate the window regulator at the same time. All right, so here's that part that I just installed. And uh, I'm gonna start testing the ignition is on. Nice. Now the final step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lube up the regulator here, like the cable, the stuff that I can get to. I wanna lube that up. Speaker is mounted, everything's ready to go. Let's go ahead and install this door panel back. All right, almost there. Got it all lined up, I can start pressing the clips on. Make sure the clips line up. Right, so the door panel is back on. I'm gonna go ahead and clean a little bit more of this door panel, all right? 
and uh, make it nicer. And uh, honestly, so this part right here, I mean, it was already broken initially, but there was a piece on it actually that I found. So I'm gonna glue this piece back on. Yeah, but other than that, she's back to life. Yeah, I'm about to check the window operation and everything else and we should be good to go. All right, we're gonna see how everything works. Okay, make sure that you can open it from inside and you can. Now I'm gonna check the window operation and I'm gonna check the speakers. Very nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of automatic trans fluid right here so it can flow down to all these tracks. Yeah, and this one, unfortunately, this one, I'm gonna have to do something with it. I was gonna actually show you. So, like the, the clips are, unfortunately, you know, they've been broken. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like hold it in place. Yeah, but everything else is good. It's intact. Just gotta clean it some more, this door panel. And I'm glue, gonna glue this piece right here that I that I found when taking the door panel off. All right, so I have this piece secured somewhat. We're probably still gonna need to replace it. It's a little tiny piece, as you can see. It's just the clips are unfortunately broken. And this one, I was not able to fix this, unfortunately. So we're probably gonna have to just replace the speaker cover at some point in the future. Yep. Yeah. Other than that, everything is looking amazing. I cleaned this panel up a little more. And uh, yeah, she's basically all good to go. Amazing. Yeah. Looped up the window tracks too with the uh, automatic trans fluid. That's amazing. Yeah, as you can see, this switch now pushes. Anytime you close the door, yeah, activating the cluster and everything else. So that's good.